All right, how y'all doing today? So it's been a little while since I posted the video that I was gonna start a $100 account with Awanda and just test them out, see how they were, uh, see how the platform was, uh, the service, all that stuff. But it's been a little while since I posted anything after that. So I feel like it's uh, time to do an update. So that's what we're gonna go over in this video. So first of all, um, I have stopped trading with Awanda. There's a few reasons why. First reason was the spreads. Um, I wasn't super happy with the spreads that they do have. And especially during rollover time, spreads get crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, I don't know why they get so wide with Awanda and not with my previous broker that I was with for four years, roughly. Um, I mean, they do widen, obviously, that's with any broker. But Awanda, it just seemed like uh yeah they just got really wide during uh rollover times but uh that was one thing the next thing was the margin so i was looking for somewhat higher margin than what they offer so it does say on their website that they offer 50 to 1 however that is not the case so they really and truly only offer a 30 to 1 all right um, and really and truly not even um, that's only for a few pairs. So, um, first things first, I'm going to go over this right here. This is going to be the, uh, this historical spreads that they, that they offer. So you can see during rollover time spreads get crazy. So you got an eight, 10 pip spread on Euro USD at, uh, 515 Eastern time. All right your standard spread is still pretty high. Like um, with CMC markets, it's roughly a 0.7 pip spread. Here you got an average of 1.5 roughly during peak times. And that's just not what I was looking for at all. Um, I wanted better, tighter spreads. Um, like let's look at a different pair. Like. Another one I trade often is the dollar CAD. So during uh, rollover times, it's a little better than than uh, Euro USD, but during peak times, during high liquidity times, it's still average two pip spread. Like, I don't know why they can't offer better spreads than that, especially being a dealing desk. I don't understand why they can't do that but it is what it is. Um, and then we got pairs like um, the Aussie CAD. So in a second, I'm gonna go over the margin requirements and any pair connected to the Canadian dollar does have better, uh, better leverage based on my personal um, situation because I am in Canada. I believe that's what it is. I don't know for sure. But I believe because I'm in Canada, I get better, better leverage on these pairs. I don't know. But um, yeah, like almost a 20 pip spread here on the Aussie CAD during rollover times and still roughly a 2.2, uh, 2.3 .2 average spread during uh, high liquidity times. And I mean, that's just not, <laughs> it's just not good enough. I, I just can't justify staying with them based on that when I was getting way better with uh, CMC markets. All right, so now we're gonna go over to the margin requirements. Um, see, it, it does say 50 to one, but that's not actually the case. So if I drop it down to 30 to one, you'll see they do change. So I get a 3.3, so a 3.0 is just over 30 to one. So it's uh, 33 to one. All right, that, that's what you would get on the Aussie CAD, Euro CAD, Pound CAD, and New Zealand, uh, New Zealand dollar and Canadian dollar. All right, so you get a 33 to one leverage on those pairs. And I believe that's just because I'm in Canada those pairs specifically, I get a little bit better margin on it. But um, 
basically anything more or any other pair than that i'm getting worse spreads all right so you get a four percent on pound swiss um even dollar cad which is one i trade quite often the 3.5 percent um and i believe with cmc it's like uh two percent 2.2 percent margin i believe that's what it was um so i mean the leverage is just that it's just another thing that's drawing me away from them um yeah so main reasons spreads and margin requirements just not what i'm looking for i will say their service it it was great any question i had i never tried calling them but i did uh open up the chat quite often uh ask them little things especially like one thing i wanted to know was the historical spreads and they sent me a link in the email um any question that i had they made sure to answer it within the chat and then they also sent me an email with other things related to that topic that maybe i just didn't ask that was good information for me to know so service was great i would never knock them on that um they are a reliable broker i was able to pull my money out no questions asked uh, i believe it took two days to get my money back but uh, yeah that's what we'll go go over right now um so initially i deposited that hundred dollars which was right here on may 26th 100 dollars and i was completed whatever and then i only traded with them for a couple weeks so that was may 26th i pulled this out on june 18th um, and i withdrew 359 closed the account and that's that's where we're at so i took that out and i made 259 percent return on that hundred dollar deposit initially and that happened within basically three weeks of trading. It was 23 days in total, but uh, basically three weeks of trading, right? So yeah, that, I mean, I did pretty good even considering the spreads and considering the margin, but it's just not what I'm looking for. Uh, I did actually open up an account with a, another broker. It is an offshore broker. Uh, they, they do offer a lot better margin and I'm using it as my scalping account. So for my scalping strategy, I trade with them. I do still have my account with CMC markets and I will continue to use them because I've been with them for four years now. They've been great to me. Uh, I just wanted to basically try something else out. So I think I'm going to stick with that new broker. I'm actually using traders way. Um, and I'm using the C Trader platform, and I actually really do like it so far. They offer um, tick charts, which is great for scalping, and that's kind of what I was looking for as well. So um, I did make one withdraw from them. So it was just a small amount that I wanted to just test them out for, and yeah, I got my money. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with them so far service has been great any questions i have um yeah I, I think i will stick with them and cmc markets use cmc for equities a little bit of uh long-term trading uh, or swing trading uh with the forex market but uh scalping definitely going to be using the c trader platform with traders way all right so basically um yeah, so that's the withdrawal, the deposit, and then also my email deposited um, May 26th, and the withdrawal 359 on June 18th. All right, so that's, uh, that's my update on that uh, little $100 trading challenge that I started that <laughs> didn't last very long. I did it for three weeks, but like I said, I was just kind of testing out Oanda. Just wanted to see what they were all about. And it's just not what I'm looking for. All right. So if you want to try them out, they're a great broker. Don't get me wrong. I would never give them a bad review. It's just personally not what I am looking for. All right. So if you are considering them, 
give them a try see if uh, see if it works for you and go from there all right anyway thanks for watching the video if you liked it give it a thumbs up uh remember to subscribe to my channel for more videos and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one take care